shoot, we up, we up, okay. we up, we up. Hey, and welcome back to Lipsticks and Glitz. I'm Shantae. And I'm Raquel. And as you guys were promised last week, I'm going to do my lipstick lookbook. It'll be more so lip glosses. Um, I'm going to show you guys my favorite fall lip styles that I like to do. So make sure you stay tuned, like, comment, and, and subscribe. subscribe. See you soon. Hey guys, so for my first look, I'm going to take my eyeshadow base by NYX. I will take that and a nice clean brush, and I'm going to apply the eyeshadow base to my lower and upper lip. This look was inspired to me by Beauty by Tia One. Make sure you guys go subscribe to her, she's awesome. going to take my Milani eyeshadow um, it's an old palette so the name of the color will off but it's a turquoise color I'm sure you can still get it I'm going to take that and dab that all over the eyeshadow base that I recently applied if you see me kind of look over to the side I do have a mirror set up there it makes it a lot easier for me to apply instead of looking straight into the camera. Next, I'm going to take one of my favorite eyeshadows that I purchased from Victoria's Secret called Minty Kiss. I'm going to take that and just go over the eyeshadow that I just put on. This way it gives my new lipstick that I've created a nice shiny finish. And voila! Look number one. Okay guys, now, for my second look, I am going to take um, one of my favorite Mary Kays um, called Berry Tart. I'm going to take that and also another one of my favorite Mary Kays called Pink Parfait. I'm going to mix those two. Okay, I'm going to take the Berry Tart and apply it over my lips. Yeah, pose. <laughs> Then I'm going to take the pink parfait and just go over once at the bottom and once at the top. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay, so for my third look, I'm going to take my Milani Dark Coffee Lip Liner and line up my lip. So now I'm going to apply my Revlon Color Burst Rose Pearl. I'm going to apply that all over. Um, I like this color with the lip liner. I'm not too fond of it without the lip liner. It's kind of meh, not my thing. Mm -mm. <laughs> Now I'm taking my Uptown Brown by Black Opal and I'm applying that at the bottom lip on the sides and right at the bottom, not covering it completely. And voila, look number three. <laughs> Okay, so I am taking again my Uptown Brown. Um, I love this color by itself. Um, it's nice to wear if you just want to kind of be dark, kind of blend in with the crowd. Um, but it's one of my favorites. Now I'm going to take my Mary Kay Cream and Sugar and just do a quick 
little gloss over. This way it gives it more of a mm, golden hint to the brown. And voila, look for. Okay, I'm doing another eyeshadow one. I'm taking the NYX eyeshadow base and my clean brush. I'm also taking my Maybelline New York Amethyst and I'm going to, instead of using clear, I'm going to use Bride Scent from Victoria's Secret. It's got a purple tint to it so this way my purple will really pop. So first I'm going to apply the eyeshadow base. Then I'm going to apply my Maybelline New York Amethyst. Again, I take my finger and just dab across my lip where the base is. That way the color will stick. applying the Variety scent from Victoria's Secret. As you can see, it gives it a nice pop to it instead of it being a clear coat. And boom, look number five. Okay guys, final look, look number six. I am taking my Sugar Glow from Victoria's Secret. I love, 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 love this one. It gives like a champagne tint. Oh my god. Just, oh, And you can wear it for every day. Thanks, guys. Stay tuned for next week's video. See ya. Hello. Hello. I'm going to do my lip book. Look, nope, mm -mm. nope. <laughs> <laughs>